So here is a Mueller standard and it's easily discernible because the bumper nozzle sits way lower than the uh, hose nozzles. Um, also, when you get over the top of it, it doesn't have like a weather cap like the improves do. Instead, it's got a screw there and a screw there to, for lubrication. Um, didn't show on the last hydrant I was at, so I'm going to put this one actually at the front end of that video. But we're going to show you how to take this uh, operating nut off. Um, we've got a special tool for it, and it's easy to make them. All right, so there's that Mueller tool I've shown you guys a few times. Uh, once again, on all Mueller's, um, unless they're reverse operation, you got it, they're reverse threaded. So put that on there and whack it real hard. And you can see it's turning now. And once it gets to turning, you're good to go. If that fails to do the job, then you're going to have to um, put a pipe wrench on it, put a cheater bar on that pipe wrench, and try to walk it around in that direction and it is ridiculously hard okay so this operating nut is ridiculously difficult you can see we've got a cheater bar on a pipe wrench on our operating nut tool going round and round this is a Mueller standard and this is what you have to do when they're this bad you don't want to use the uh, um, pipe wrench on the nut because all it's going to do is disintegrate that operating nut Believe it or not, with this one, we might be able to just clean it up and reuse the operating nut. Okay, so you can see we've got the operating nut and the hold down nut. We've got those taken off, that standard hydrant. There's a few tools that we use to clean these up and polish them. One is just a grinder with a, a wire brush wheel on it. The other is a router with a flapper wheel on it. Now you gotta be careful with that flapper wheel because it'll remove metal really fast. The other couple things that we use, uh, number one, there's our Mueller hold down nut tool. That's what we use to get that hold down nut off. Uh, put it on there and then hammer it and it goes. Um, use this screwdriver, of course, to get those access screws off. And then we use this screwdriver to poke a hole through here where the grease is solidified underneath that uh, uh, screw. We use this little pin to poke a hole through where that screw is as you can see there's no hole on this side it's solidified now i'm going to get to work and i will show you a video of what these look like when i'm done once again i'll mostly be using the wire wheel but then i'll use that flapper wheel on the inside here you know to clean up that surface and uh anyway you'll see what it looks like okay so right here you can see the hold down nut of course you can see where it's still dirty on the outside where i didn't clean it you can also see how shiny and nice that looks on the inside. So to use that flapper wheel and that wire brush right there. And here's the flapper wheel tool that I use. Here is the operating nut. And you see how clean that looks, how shiny all the surfaces are. And of course that doesn't do any good if you don't also clean the inside of the bonnet. And that's about as clean as they're gonna get, um, but get some wire brushes in there. And then there's an O-ring yeah, you can see that O-ring right in there. That's a brand new one we just put in. Make sure you replace that O-ring. Also, you want to take that wire brush and make sure you brush the threads on this stem plus down in here just a couple inches because that's where that O-ring rests against. So we're going to take that wire brush, brush all that, and brush down in there just a little bit too. Also, now you can see that hole. So I'm going to take that screw off of this side and then clean that hole out with this so it's nice and smooth and blow it out. I've got a little compressed air. And then same thing with this screw. Take it out. Use that screwdriver to jam through there and make sure I don't damage the threads. Okay, so now, I don't know if you can see that. So I can get that lined up just right. That hole is completely opened up. And same thing with that hole. Of course, that one's probably a little easier to see. Yeah, look at that. Anyway, parts are all cleaned up. So we are going to put a little bit of grease here, 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 in the inside of this, on the inside of the uh, hold down nut, a little bit on there, a little bit underneath, a little bit around here, uh, and then some on the threads of the, uh, the stem. 
and assemble it all back together. And like I said, just a little bit of grease. It doesn't take much. These hydrants need to be lubricated every single year. And so if you just make sure you do that every year, they're going to continue to work for you really good for God only knows how long. Here you see we're just double checking those nuts, make sure they're snug down tight. Of course, we use that impact to get them on there, but I always want to double check them. Okay, so when we got here, this hydrant was inoperable. And you can see it hadn't been working. And look at that, nice and smooth. Ethan's able to just work it one hand, piece of cake and we're good to go so that shows just a little upper rebuild and you could have your mueller standard fire hydrants back to operating like new